No. The trail can't grow cold now. Oh, Father. Where are you? What in the Maker's name is the Arisen? No. Who am I to question Fortune's gift? Please help me find my father. He's a gardener in his Grace Duke Edmund's castle. I awoke one morning to find him vanished without a word. It's not like him at all. I've searched for near on a week now, but found nothing. I beg your aid, Sir Arisen. After take this. Make a speed you What I can help you with. How's the day find you? Oh. I owe the man. Tell our castle worker was in league with bandits. But the girl caught wind of the scheme and he confessed to all not long after. Seems traitors lurk beyond every shrub and hinge of light. Ah, greetings. Well, I trust. Well met, Arisen. How may I aid you, sir? You seek a wayward gardener? <laughs> I fear I'll be little help for your cause. Yet hold a moment. We had cause to interrogate a castle laborer some days past. Our spies learned of a plot, wherein secrets of state were leaking to a gang of bandits. I believe the workman suspected of this sedition is in our custody still. I fear that's as much as I know, sir. That I could... new plan the High Conclave's crafted. I know the aim's to sow chaos, but still, 
I can't but think it's excessive. Tom Gizzo is walking bones of slain three of our own. And we're to let such creatures roam the roads. I, if we're so ordered. The rest of the Conclave's design relies on those skeletons to draw off the Duke's attention. I'll grant you their bloodthirst is greater than I thought. It is time to send word to the others. Come, no more doubts, brother. You are to begin work under the Conclave soon, though. No? Aye, I'm bound for there now. It is my first time. I was surprised at the summons, truth be told. I've not been with Salvation long. I suppose they trust me. I'll not miss the hellish life of a messenger, I'll tell you that. You! How long were you there? What did you hear? The skeleton. I'll not hang for salvation. It was only a way to earn some coin in the first place. They pay a tidy sum for finding new believers and sending them onto the Conclave, though. I suppose my hand in that ends today. Let's be civil here, friend. We're not enemies, you and I. Surely we can strike a deal that benefits both of us. Like, say... I give you a special bit of merchandise, in return for a stack of coin. Well, will you help me put this dark business behind me? Hold! Pray hold, friend! Very well. You've made your point. Here, the key is yours. Do as you please with it. I haven't spoken a word. Not a word, I swear it! You must believe me! I have no idea that was the reason. How could I... Please! You! Tis not over with them, fool! Hurry and find the one controlling them further on! Go and...
Welcome, Marissa. It is an honor to have you come so far to meet us. You here seeking the source of the skeletons? Or have you just come to rid us of a few traitors? My thanks, by the by. I see no call for secrets. It was salvation loose those bone warriors upon the land. They are an experiment, a vanguard, all in preparation for the day of reckoning to come. You shall have an honored place among them, Arisen. Aye, your bones shall lead the march as the Red Dawn breaks. Catacombs are cleansed of rats, thanks to your efforts, Arisen. The roads, too, are all but free from the skeleton warriors. Francis is safe for the moment. The documents they left behind shed some light on Salvation's actions as of now. It seems the skeletons were an attempt to bolster their numbers, a thought I do not relish. What's more, it was their own members' bones they put to use. Newly joined believers made living sacrifices. They were turned from flesh to living bone by some dark art. All as a part of some experiment. The writings claim that bone warriors brought from living men are stronger than those come from corpses. Even for a cult of madmen to visit such atrocities upon their own. What is a horror? And one now hopefully at an end. Again, you have my thanks, Arisen. Pray accept this small token for your efforts. A moment, sir. I am named Gabriel. I serve under Sir Dario, Captain at the Stone of the North. I see the Captain was correct in surmising you would possess that letter. Tis a missive Chamberlain Fiedel asked you to retrieve. Am I correct? Pray do not lend credence to that fox's lies. He's a man drunk on ambition. He plans to win the Duke's trust by spreading lies of sedition, happily shedding the blood of faithful men in the process. But even that is but a preamble. Giving him cause to meet with the Duke in private is as good as lending him your dagger to plunge into his grace's breast. Sir Dario is determined to see Fiedel's traitorous designs thwarted. Allow me to bring the letter to Sir Dario. As none know of it, you need fear no ill consequence. All I've heard of you suggest a person of keen judgment. Pray, give me the letter, sir. My thanks, sir. You've chosen wisely. The so doing have spared the castle the chaos this scheme would have wrought. Tis fortunate Fiedel moves slowly for a fox. It will like be some time before he's crafted his next plot. I'm certain Sir Dario will see you rewarded for your aid in this matter, Arisen. I cannot promise what or when, but know that the men of the stone e'er pay their debts. Until then, I take my leave.
Fisher 